Welcome to Urban Eco. I'm Amy Devers. Urban Eco is all about exploring fun and creative ways of living healthier, more sustainable lives. Today, we're making our own fresh, organic, homemade ricotta cheese. I had no idea how easy it was to make cheese at home, with very little cost and just a few everyday grocery store finds. In a little bit, I'll show you how. Cheese is produced around the world in a variety of forms, flavors, and textures. Cheese consists of protein and fat from milk, typically milk from cows, buffalo, goats, and sheep. And the magic ingredients that turn milk into cheese are usually an acid, like vinegar, lemon juice, and rennet, the enzymes that cause coagulation. And then the solids from this process are then separated out and pressed into its final form. Today's recipe for rich, pillowy, organic ricotta is super versatile and doesn't even require rennet. You can make it plain or with flavored salts. And when it's all done, you can add it to your favorite pasta dish, use it as a topping for crostini, or even drizzle it with honey and top it with berries for a tasty dessert. So to get started, today we have a very special guest who's been making cheese since he was only six years old and comes from a long line of Italian cheesemakers, Stefano Bruno. Hey Stefano. How you doing? Welcome. So what got you started making cheese? I've actually been watching my dad do it since I was a little kid. So it just motivated me to continue with the family business. So it's a total family tradition then? Yeah, the recipes that uh, we use now are actually the ones my dad brought with him from Italy. Ooh, authentic. Yeah. Do you like to make cheese at home? At home, I like to do burrata. Burrata? Yeah. That sounds fancy. Burrata is a mozzarella that's been refilled with cream. And it's a fun cheese to do at home because your family, your friends really get into it. Do you do it like cheese theater in front of your friends and family? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. But the cheese we're making today is pretty simple, right? Yeah, it's really easy. OK, let me make sure we got you everything you need. We've got a gallon of organic whole milk, six tablespoons plus two teaspoons of organic distilled vinegar at 5% acidity, and then a teaspoon and a half of fine sea salt. That's correct. OK, and that's optional, right? We don't have to use that? Yeah, yeah and then cheesecloth and our thermometer. Yeah, we can get started. So now we just gotta get our milk. Okay, so you wanna start with a cold pot. Yeah, start with a cold pot. You don't want to have the pot heated before you put the milk in. And then we're gonna turn the heat on. You're gonna wanna put it to high heat, continually stir it. Okay, so now we're about uh, 175 and we wanna throw in the salt. Teaspoon uh, and a half, right? Yeah, just sprinkle it in there. And the salt in this cheese is just for flavor or is it for consistency? Uh, in ricotta, it's mainly flavor. Now we're just gonna put the heat on medium and we're gonna let it sit until it reaches about 192, at which point we're gonna throw in the vinegar. Can you read this? What's that say? We're at 192. Yay, the magic number, 192. So now we get to add vinegar? Yeah, yeah, continue I'm stirring. afraid, I'm afraid. So I'll go ahead. Just slowly pour it in. Slowly, okay. Yeah. Six tablespoons and two teaspoons. Now at this point you can start going a little bit more rapidly. Wow, it's a chemical reaction in there. Now we're gonna kill the heat. Yes. Go ahead and place this off to the side. And now we can just let it sit and we'll just wait 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna scoop everything out and then let it sit again? You can let it sit for maybe about two to three minutes. And okay. then you can go ahead and just either serve it or put it in an airtight container and refrigerate. And how much will we yield from one gallon of milk? We got about two pounds here. It's a fair amount of ricotta. I tried to say it like you, I didn't do a good job. <laughs> It smells good. What's your favorite way to eat it? When it's fresh like this, you have a pasta ready, uh -huh. and you just do pasta with uh, ricotta and a little bit of sugar. Ooh, when can we eat it? We can actually start eating it now. It's <gasps> drained well enough. Let's eat it. Let's just get you some here. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> I can't believe I've never had warm, fresh ricotta before. Yeah, being that it's so fresh and warm, it's different because you get that uh, milky flavor. Well, this has been totally awesome. Thank you so much for no sharing problem. your cheese expertise Thank you with for us. Me. And thank you for joining. Be sure to check out the next episode of Urban Eco.